Hi fellow traders. I hope everybody's having a good day. I wanted to share my thoughts on SureTrader or my updated thoughts on SureTrader. Um, the video that's out there now is a little bit old and some of the information is outdated. Uh, it's about a year old now. So I want to come and, and update you on the changes and what I still feel about SureTrader. Well, first, I got to say that I wouldn't be here right now if SureTrader didn't exist. I would not have been able to day trade. I wouldn't have been able to grow my account the way I had. You know, I didn't have $25,000 to put in a trading account. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a true average Joe blue collar worker who had to go to work every day and struggle for every penny I made. You know, I was a teacher. Teachers didn't make much. You know, we had a lot of awesome responsibility, but we just didn't make much. But I had to decide what to do with this Christmas bonus I had. And I already had my money for Christmas. We budgeted for it. We had our Christmas money. But I was tired. I was sick and tired of living from paycheck to paycheck. I didn't have, I could do side jobs, I could do extra jobs, but I just couldn't continue to put money up and just have it for the things that I could do for my family. It was all about my family at this point. So it was dear to me, the money that I had, you know, I had to make a decision and it was not made lightly to, to send my money over there. Now, there's no law that says we can't send our money offshore. But there is kind of this thing that says that eats away at you about not being able to go down to your local branch and withdraw your money. That kind of, you know, made it a little iffy for me. But I made that decision. I didn't do it lightly. I did my due diligence. But I'm very thankful that. I did because everything has worked out so far. Now I stream my sure trader platform every day in, in chat. You see me go in and out of trades. You see me use it. Um, and if there's any problems that pops up, you see it live. If there's any funny business, you know, you see it live. You know, there was the other day in chat there was um uh what was it? Was it ESPR? I can't remember. I shorted it and took one move. I waited for the pullback, shorted it again. I waited for the pop. I shorted it again. And I went and shorted and it wasn't available. And then I waited a little while longer and was able to short it again. And, you know, the first thing comes to your mind is conspiracy theory. You know, they're losing a lot of money, so they're not going to let people short it anymore. Well, you know, when I got in touch with them, they gave me a logical explanation. You know, they just ran out of shorts. And when people covered, they had them available again. I mean, I, it sounded logical to me, so it did, didn't really, you know, cause me any issues. I still made a good lick on it. But things like that happen. And you get to see it for real time. And I think that's that's really important. Now, let's start with the elephant in the room here. Everybody, every U.S. citizen is always skeptical because all of the ads you see that may come up on your computer or on companies, you know, here in the United States, you'll see something like this not intended for U.S. persons. Okay, this doesn't mean that U.S. citizens can't open an account there. There's no law that says U.S. citizens can't open an account overseas. If there was, everybody in Washington, including our president, would be in violation of that law. Anybody with common sense that has, you know, above average income and some extra money, they're not going to keep it all here in the United States. You know, they're not stupid. And 
there's no law that says we can't do it. The rule for this broker is they can't solicit U.S. citizens. You know, they have to be able to operate, you know, in the U.S. markets. And if they do, they have to follow the rules that SEC has for overseas brokers. And, you know, even though they don't enforce the PDT rule, which they don't enforce all of the rules that the SEC has here in the United States. So in order for them to be able to work on the exchange, they have to follow this set of rules. And this particular rule says they cannot solicit U.S. citizens. They can accept us as clients, but they have to certify that they didn't solicit from us. And what you do is when you fill out an application, you're going to have to fill out this form that says an unsolicited acknowledge agreement. And, and it's saying that you affirming that no way that Swiss America Securities, a sure trader, solicit you to become a client. And that you initiated contact and it was on an unsolicited basis. And that you understand that they don't target or intend their services for U.S. citizens or residents. Okay, they have to say this in order to be able to operate on the exchange. You know, you have to certify that you acted on your own behalf and in your choice to transact and do business with sure trader and you have to acknowledge that as a u.s citizen you do have the obligations to report to the government income loss money transfers or anything to an offshore brokerage or firm okay you have to to claim that and this is all part of the government and the irs trying to keep um these big guys from hide money overseas like they used to back in the day. You know, that's where a lot of this is coming from. So this is the, the form you'd have to fill out. It's, it's not that hard to do. Um, the process to open an account is not that difficult. You know, I started over. I opened a brand new account back in July. And it was pretty much effortless. You know, you just, it may take a couple days depending on where you live and everything and how busy they are. But all you need um, is just to fill out the application. You've got um, got to have a government issued ID. You got to have proof of residency. You know, you're going to have to send or fax these things or scan them and email them to them with your application. It's not that difficult. You know, don't try to, you know, outsmart the application. You know, just give the information that they need, fill it out, and typically you get approved. You know, now if you want to download the forms, you can click here, the download forms, and this box will come up. And all the forms you need, the tax form, authorization, unsolicited agreement, and the FATCA client agreement. All of this comes up. And that's pretty, a pretty simple process. Some people make it out to be a lot harder than it is. Some don't want to give their information. They want to give fake. You know, all that's going to cause you to have problems opening your account. And when it takes a week or two weeks because you tried to sidestep some stuff, don't get mad at SureTrader. It's not their fault. All right, so who is SureTrader? They're a Bahamas-based broker-dealer regulated by the Securities Commission of the Bahamas. Okay, they are regulated. You know, albeit not by the United States, but they're regulated by their home um, country or whatever the Bahamas are I, whatever you want to call them um, so they're an online broker they allow you to day trade freely with the margin account now they have 
a 10,000 plus symbol short list. You can do penny stocks. You can do options. You know, they provide the online trading access to people who need more than just the average online broker. And we, no money broke, you know, blue collar, average Joe American guys and gals. We need more than just the average online broker because we are, I mean, we're in the majority, I believe. You know, the majority of people don't have 25K they can drop into an account and start trading. So, you know, we need a broker like SureTrader. Yeah, there are other prop firms out there. You know, to me, that's more sketchy than anything else. You know, it's like, give me $5,000, but by the way, you're not going to get it back. Uh, no matter what, whatever you get out, it's going to be the money you make minus our cut. Um, that's that's just not the way I like to do business. All right, so the advantages. You don't have to abide by the pattern day trader rule. You can day trade freely. They have a professional DOS trading platform. Um, and you can get, not only can you get um, technical information from SureTrader, you can go to the DOS customer service and they'll be glad to help you. There are plenty of DOS videos out on YouTube, so if you need help setting it up, it's right there. Um, they have real fast executions, excellent short list. Now they have more short, they have shorts available that most other brokers don't. And yeah, it may be in their inventory. You know, it may be stocks they own that they lend us to short, you know, but they have an excellent short list and the ability for us to make to get take advantage of that and make money is there they give you 61 leverage so you got you know good 61 intraday margin so with a $500 account you can trade with three grand I mean now I'm not advocating you max out your margin on every trade you'll get in some serious trouble I'm also not advocating that you open an account with $500. You know, my I recommend $2,500, but no less than $1,500. Plus, they have pre and post market trading, which is which is a good thing because you know some of us we have to trade the first part of the day and we need to be able to trade pre-market sometimes. There's some good trades that usually present themselves pre-market. Now, after market, it's a little bit worse. I don't like the spreads and you have to really know what you're doing to, tra to trade in the in aftermarket. But um, pre-market trading, they open up at eight and they get, you got an hour and a half before the market opens. Um, to actually trade and if you have a good strategy you know a lot of times the pre-market does bring you some good opportunities all right they've got a simple price commission now this is different from before if you trade zero to two hundred and fifty thousand shares per month you got a one cent per share rate however the minimum is still 495 so they've got a different way of figuring it but as far as I can see it comes out the same you know the minimum that you have to pay per trade is 495 so if you take 200 shares you're not gonna pay two dollars you're gonna pay 495 plus you've got a trade these two trade fees the fair enough fee and you've got another um, I don't know if this is a NASDAQ fee or not but you still have these two fees you have to pay on top of the 495 plus if you do a call in trade they're gonna charge you $25 for that but this is their fee schedule now 
Now, I don't trade. I would fall into this, you know, if I had to open an account now and get into this. So my trades, my commissions would all would still be four ninety five at a minimum. So not much of a change there. All right, more advantages. They have a Sure Trader Mastercard or debit card that you can um, wire your money out your account and send it directly to your debit card. Now, Sure Trader doesn't need. I mean, Speed Trader doesn't even have this option. So this this is pretty good. Now I wired out some money for the first time um, Friday. So we'll see, you know, how long. Granted, I didn't get to do it until the afternoon. I think if I had done it in the morning, I probably would have had it on my account. But I did it close to three or a little bit after three. It's when I remembered I needed to do it. So you know, we'll see how far how quickly it it does it takes and how much money they're going to charge for withdrawing i think it's still forty dollars but we'll see no but it's easy and efficient it's not like it was before where we had to wire it uh, from them or you know request a wire from them sometimes it might get messed up sometimes it'll get delayed but you know now it should be pretty seamless and it only took me about two weeks to get this card um, to, to go through the process and that's you know not too far behind if you went to a bank and opened up an account and got a debit card you'd probably get it in a week all right so the dish advantages now they're still higher than some of the traditional day trading specific brokers like uh, Speed Trader. If you're on there per share, bro per share um, orders, uh, Light Speed, um, IB, Center Point, I think all are going to be cheaper. No, so I still think the fees are high. The equity margin call fees are high. Um, anytime you go above six to one. They'll liquidate it, liquidate you $25 per symbol plus the, fade, the trade desk fee of $30. So if you mess up and go over margin and you get liquidated, this is one of these fees that people claim they're getting ripped off from. But it's pretty straightforward. If you screw up, you're going to have to pay. And hopefully that will prevent you from screwing up again in the future. Um, you've got the inactivity fee that if you trade under 15 trades in a quarter, they're going to charge you $50, you know, and the withdrawal free. They charge you to withdraw money. I mean, they charge you to withdraw your own money. All right, some more disadvantages. I don't think they have a lot of customer service reps. Um, you know, it, it's, I guess it's a double-edged sword. You've got this business that caters to new traders and most of us, you know, when we're brand new, we don't know what the hell we're doing. So we're gonna be on the phone with them blowing up customer service all day. Um, so in a sense that's disadvantage now they have gotten better with their customer service um you know lately the last uh, couple months i've been able to get through to them a lot easier and i haven't had that big of a wait time still have some wait time you know so it is getting better but i still think it's a disadvantage because they're not on the scale of a lot of these other brokers um, offshore is a disadvantage because, you know, you're not protected by the U.S. laws. So if something happens over there, then you're going to be at the mercy of, 
you know, the laws in the Bahamas. And by you not being a citizen, yeah, it may be kind of sketchy. So what you need to do is um, wire out constant, consistently is what I do. I still have my money over there that I trade with. At the end of each month, I wire out. And that's what I plan to do, continue to do. Um, and that's how I was able to, to save my money. You know, once I got 10 grand, I opened up um, Speed Trader. At the time, that's all I had. That's all you had to, to have to open. Now you got to have 30 grand or something like that. But back when I opened it, I only had to put in 10,000. So that, that was good. Uh, so you can't do that now. Now, with what I'm doing now, once I get to 10 grand, I'm going to open an IB account. And we're going to go that route. Uh, because Sure Trader, you know, most people are not going to be able to save 30 grand going this way. All right, more disadvantages. There's possible possible conflict of interest. They um, you know, they say all trades are executed in a principal capacity, and they're our counterparty. So if we're borrowing shares to short, a lot of times we're borrowing it from them. I mean, I don't know how that's different from any other broker. But, you know, you could be doing the same, you could be in the same situation with any other broker. Um, but, you know, it is a possible conflict of interest. You know, they could be losing it, an arm and a leg on something and they just, your account gets closed out or your position gets closed out, you know, without warning. Let's see the margin rules. I don't, I wouldn't say there's so much of a disadvantage, but you know, they do have a lot of rules. You know, a lot of things that you, know, you may not run into with the regular broker, but because they're dealing with, you know, brand new traders who are high risk, they're going to probably have more rules in to protect themselves. It's just like a bank. If you go into the bank and you have a, a 620 credit score, you're probably going to pay 23% on a car loan. You know, whereas if you had a 780, you could probably pay 1% or 2%. You know, the risk is, according to them, and based on your credit score, your risk will be less. Well, they got to operate the same way. Uh, so that platform is is pretty good. They've got the the Sure Trader Pro is a DOS platform, and all I have I've got the mark the the platform is forty nine a month. The market depth data access is $40 a month. The regional quotes, which is a basic level two, is 15 And then I get the NASDAQ total view book there. So mine is $124 per month. Um, you know, a lot of people look at that and it's like, man, that's a lot of money. Dude, if you make $50 a day, you could pay for this in a week, in less than a week. And that's only making $50 a day. You have to have the right tools. And the right tools cost. And this this platform, and like I said, I, I stream it every day in chat, you know, live. And you see, it's a quality platform. Is it as easy to use as, say, Thinkorswim? No, it's not as user-friendly. But it is on point.
it's it's fast it's um consistent you know and it works very well so it's well worth the subscription cost one thing now i know when we when we're in business you know we're looking to cut costs and find the best deals well there's certain things that you just can't cut costs on it's the platform that you without it you know you're gonna struggle um, and they do have the mobile platform for whether you have an iPhone or the um, I forgot you know what's what I'm talking about my mind just drew a blank but you either have the iPhone or you have the the other type phones that have the um, the other operating system I can't believe my mind drew a blank here all right so my recommendations invest in your education without it you're a mark and the market will take every dime you have also it sure trader you probably be you you will most likely be a mark and you'll give every dime to them that you don't give to the market so never open a brokerage account and start trading without the proper education watching a few videos online is not going to cut it if you want to watch videos and you want to learn how to trade and all that online that's fine but before you get started you need to talk to somebody you need to be working with an experienced trader that can help you um, eliminate and get rid of all the myths that you picked up by re you know watching a bunch of videos everybody has their own opinion and that's what makes trading great it's like an art form you know how you see it it depends on you uh, make sure you read all of the rules and understand all of the fee schedules now these things aren't outrageous but you need to know them because what happens you can easily make a mistake and end up on the wrong side of things and you you find out that if you had a $500 account and you lost a hundred and you broke some rules you may not have but two hundred dollars left by the end of the day so you have to make sure that you don't that you know how not to make that mistake and incur these fees your Android system I told you it will come to me my mind just went blank so they have the online they have the mobile platform for the Android phone and the iPhone um, what I did was I opened up a bank specifically for funding and withdrawing from SureTrader because that at the time um, that was the easiest and the quickest way to get your money is to request a withdrawal and it get put back on your debit card so I opened up a specific account so that you know if something happens or because they're overseas and they get hacked nobody would have access to my main account it would always be you know this account here and I'll never keep any money in it unless I'm getting ready to send some off or the minute it comes in I'm transferring it to another brokerage or it's going to my savings account so don't keep any money any more money than absolutely necessary over there you know if you have fifteen thousand dollars there's no way I would want to leave fifteen over there you know I take half of it off and wait until I got a little bit more and open up another a brokerage and start saving my money over there so I can start day trading when it opens up Uh, don't over trade 
that's the worst thing you can do with sure trader you know just don't over trade make sure you get the pro platform you know I wouldn't recommend trading with less than twenty five hundred dollars that's what I recommend but but fifteen hundred is the bare minimum and that's what I started with January 1st was with fifteen hundred dollars but it is real nerve-wracking because you know one good loss and you right back to the drawing board um, and make sure you understand margin and how to use it right no way around that make sure you know how to use margin if you don't it will burn you and you can end up losing more than you even have in that in that account all right so um, every every morning we have the morning show and on Wednesdays we have sneak peek Wednesday all you do is go to averagejoetrader.com click on the morning show button and you can get in every Monday through Friday from 8:30 to 9 now on Wednesdays with you're there from 8:30 to 10:30 so you get to spend the first hour in the um, in the chat room with me. Uh, also, I you stream it on YouTube, so as long as they don't mess up, you know it should be good. You'll you'll have the stream there as well. All right. So if you need to get in touch with me, you've got my information right here on um, the easiest and the quickest way to reach me is at ed at average joe trader .com. um that's the email i monitor 24 7. so if you need me that's where you need to contact me so just keep in mind if you're interested in our day trading class or our um our chat room membership and all that just go to the website averagejoetrader.com and you can check it out all right guys so that's all i have for you today i hope this helps you a little bit you know move a little bit further with sure trader um you know i don't make any money from them i wish i wasn't in the united states then i could probably make some money from them but they're not going to get in bed and make a deal with you know with me so you know everything I told you is based on me and my experiences with them so you guys have a great rest of your day or night and we will see you in chat